And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to seek forgiveness between 70 to 100 times every single day. At times even more than that. And yet he did not need that. It was only elevation in his status every time he sought repentance. We lose nothing to seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact, with us sometimes we are guilty of letting days pass without seeking forgiveness. Letting weeks pass, letting months pass and sometimes even the whole year passes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to understand that if the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who did not need that forgiveness sought it in order to elevate his status, then with us who need it, surely if we follow his path, we will definitely be from amongst those, definitely from amongst those whom Allah's mercy will descend upon. And this is why the issue of forgiveness and the issue of mercy is very closely connected. Whenever we refer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we are starting something, when we are doing something, we need to say the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we say the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we connect it with certain words. Listen to what we say. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Most beneficent, most merciful. Most forgiving, most merciful. Subhanallah. Why is it that Allah taught us to declare His mercy before anything else? If He wanted, He could have said, Say, in the name of Allah, the one whose punishment is extremely severe. He could have said that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to understand that we as human beings should be rotating around the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His mercy. And we should constantly be seeking the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is also why the opening verses of the Quran, the verses that we read in every rak'ah of salah of Surah Al-Fatiha, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to declare the names of His which are full of mercy. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim all praise is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Lord of the worlds. The most beneficent, the most merciful. Subhanallah. We repeat it so many times. And now if we take a look at the declaration that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to declare. And all the other messengers were asked to declare the same thing. We would understand the mercy of Allah. We would be so hopeful in that mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen to what he says in Surah Al-Hijr. Inform all my worshippers that I am the most beneficent, the most merciful. Or I am the most forgiving, the most merciful. Subhanallah. So it was broadcast to us by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. Subhanallah. Now sometimes people might then decide, you know what, he is very forgiving. Let me do what I want. Then I'll say, Ya Allah, forgive me. Allah, forgive me. He is most forgiving. He will forgive me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala equates and balances the statement. He continues to say, inform them that I am most forgiving, most merciful. But let them know and let them know that my punishment is very painful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never punish us. But that is the declaration. And let's listen to another declaration. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Taha and I am indeed most forgiving the term Ghafoor is different from the term Ghaffar Ghaffar is one who is the most forgiving who forgives so often Subhanallah Allah says I forgive so often the one who returns to me the one who turns back to me Subhanallah and then does good deeds and then is rightly guided. Allah says, I forgive. The hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Inna Allah ta'ala yabsutu yadahu bil layli liyatuba musi'u al-nahar wa yabsutu yadahu bil nahari liyatuba musi'u al-layl hatta taqlu'a al-shamsu min maghribiha. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Allah stretches his hand of forgiveness to forgive those, meaning during the day to forgive those who have erred during the night. And he stretches the same hand of forgiveness during the night to forgive those who have erred during the day or who have sinned during the day. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala stretches that hand. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us from his mercy.